So I've been seeing this trend of people playing clan gen year by year, and each year they do a video for it with the speed paints of all the cats. So that's what I've decided to do because it looks really fun. I'm gonna try and add a bit of story as I go to the story that's already given just to make it a little more personalized and fun for me. This also goes for their designs, as the sprites will be used as reference and inspiration, but not a harsh guideline. This is going to be about Creek Clan, just a clan that lives in a part of the forest where a big river runs along the edge of their territory, but a creek from that river cuts through their territory. Their camp is surrounded by the creek as it cuts into two and creates a mini moat around the ca their camp. I hope that makes sense. I might make an illustration to show what I mean. So far this is only this is the only clan for this story, but it's likely I'll add others. For the first year, I'm just going to describe each cat and their family and relationships as I go. If anything big happened over the year, I'll mention it, but this is mainly just an intro to all the cats of the clan. Oh, and as far as settings go, here are my settings for this clan. Let's start with our leader, Floodstar. Floodstar got their name from leading the clan to the safest spot during the flood as an apprentice. This later became the clan's camp, and she's highly respected for her leadership from such a young age. She's still got all of her nine lives left, as she has a natural intuition and her main goal is to keep her clan safe, and how she's supposed to do that if she takes her nine lives for granted. For some reason, she always seems to know everything going on in the clan, and given and gives sometimes unwanted but helpful insight to situations that have nothing to do with her. She can seem a bit cold to the rest of the clan at times, but so far it hasn't shaken the trust of most of the clan. Emphasis on most. <laughs> Sharpclaw is Floodstar's trusted deputy. Sharpclaw is known to be righteous and following clan order, and Floodstar is a much more empathetic half. As a young kid, he always had a gift for settling arguments and making sure everyone got along in high-stress situations, and because of this, many thought he would be the mediator of the clan one day. However, he always seemed to have the goal of being deputy in mind. He cares a lot of for Floodstar and tries to make sure she's never getting more work than she can handle, and while Floodstar appreciates him, she sometimes wonders if he thinks she's less capable because she's younger than him. Our first medicine cat is our oldest cat in the clan, 126 moons old now, and still kicking. Airberry has always been extremely compassionate to her fellow cats, whether in the clan or out. Before she became an apprentice, she wanted to be a warrior and practice some fighting moves as a kid. Initially she was disappointed when the medicine cat chose her as an apprentice, and she often snuck off to learn how to fight with the other cats, but as an apprentice she learned to value all life. Slowly, she valued fighting less and less until she became fully into a role and vowed her main goal in life would be to always protect lives and help. While she still knows how to fight, she hasn't raised a paw in violence of many, many moons. I'm a little worried because she's starting to hear voices, hear the voices of the Starflying cats, but that should be normal since she's a medicine cat, right? Our next medicine cat joined the clan on moon three of this year with us four kits first becoming a warrior. As a kitty pet, Gizmo Cliff dreamt of a cat by the name of Larchgrass, leading him and his kits to the forest, following a creek. When he woke, his mate was sobbing about how all of their kits would be separated in the coming weeks, and he told her about his dream. She begged him to take the kits away, though she could never survive the outside world. She knew he could, and he could protect their kits. This is how he ended up in Creek Clan. Not long after joining the clan, he decided to become a medicine cat when Airberry was unable to work one moon and found himself enjoying that position much more. Airberry is glad to have someone much younger than her learning the trade while she's still around to help. He's an incredibly loving father, so he was heartbroken when two of his kits died as apprentices. In an effort to keep him and the other cats in the clan happy, he tells stories to help them along. Strangely enough, Floodstar and him have developed mutual crushes on each other. <laughs> on Moon 6, Gizmo Cliff was out on a patrol of two when he heard the wailings of a kitty pet, sick by the thunder bath. Hopwon doesn't know why he was left, wanting only to go back home to his two legs. Gizmo Cliff does his best to comfort the old cat as he brings 
Popcorn back to camp to be treated and welcomed by the rest of the clan. Unfor Unfortunately, Hotcorn hasn't gotten much better over the six moons he's been in the clan and has been consumed with sadness. He's made a t he's made a tentative five friends, his best friend being Gizmoclip, who he's very grateful for. His arrogant nature comes out every now and then, but during most of the time in the clan, he's barely had enough energy to be rude. One of the five friends he made already passed, so he has finds great value in the friends that he has. Our next cat is a warrior by the name of Badger Whisker. Probably due to their troublesome nature, a lot of the cats in the clan seem to have mixed feelings about Badger Whisker, but their kits love them. On Moon 2, Badger Whisker brought a kit of unknown origins back to the clan named Little Kit. Most cats know the kit's other parents from a different clan, but they don't say anything. Badger Whisker loves their daughter. Now they're apprentice. Floodstar is well aware of Little Kit, now Paws, origins, and doesn't hold it against her, but has a slight contempt for Badger Whisker because of it. Badger Whisker really doesn't like Floodstar, suspecting she doesn't like Little Paw because of her origins. They also recently have another kit, though this time it was inside the clan with Airberry. Badger Whisker loves their kit, obviously, but seems to favor Little Paw at the moment. Birch Whisker just got sick this last noon, and is resting a lot in order to get better as soon as possible. He wants to go back to mentoring his first apprentice, feeling very antsy even though he's barely been in the medicine cat den for a moon. He's pretty confident. He's a pretty confident cat, usually a fighter. Oh, he's a pretty confident cat, unusually strong fighter, but yeah, there's just not a lot to him yet. Next, we have the first apprentice of the clan, Naori Warrior, River Twist. River Twist was actually mentored by Birchback, who apparently made her have a lot of conflicting feelings, like she was supposedly influenced to be more consistent, but also break away from the status quo and be friendly towards others, but resort to violence. It just makes me worry for the other cats, Birchback, my mentor. She's really compassionate, and glad to ha have her very own apprentice so early in life. She's got a con connection to Starkland, which hasn't come up much, but... And also, when she was an apprentice, she was seen touching noses with a loner. Although these those things haven't come up again, I'm wondering if they'll be very influential throughout the rest of Cle Creek Clan's story. They have a very slight crush on the next cat. Though, it seems to be going up and down, so who knows. Our next cat is a kit when the, first, when the clan first started, but now a young warrior. Behart was mentored by Sharp Claw, which influenced him to use words over teeth and claw, deciding that being a pacifist is better than fighting unnecessarily. Sharp Claw also nurtured his interest in clan history, and now Behart is an adventurous lore master. Behar also has a crush on River Twist and has had one for a while now. He really admires Floodstar as a leader and hopes to be a deputy like Bay like uh, Sharp Claw one day, and possibly someday after that, leader. Little Paws a bloodthirsty apprentice that never sits still. Her emotions are kind of a mess, but she finds some comfort in the fact that none of the other apprentices are technically clanborn. While she is half clan, she really values the warrior code and struggles with her feelings about that. Because of this, she's kind of ignoring her little sister's existence right now, though she can't help but respect the fact that her little sister is fully Creek Clan. She loves her parent Badger Whisker a lot, so much that she literally saved Badger Whisker's life from a fox this moon, and that's why she's in injured in the medicine cat den, cleaning blood from her claws. She's got a crush, but also dislikes another apprentice by the name of Poolpaw. I'm assuming the dislike is from the fact that Poolpaw wasn't born with any parents in Creek Clan. Little Paw is a little bit of a handful, and but she's incredibly fierce. I doubt she's going to become any less of a handful of Badger Whisker as a mentor. Fruit Paw is next, one of Gizmo Cliff's kits. His mentor is River Twist, who's doing her best to teach him the ways of the clan. Neither of them have very strong feelings towards each other, but they trust each other, which is enough. Fruit Paw is already confident. Something River Twist is sure to nurture. He's oddly observant, which just watching and listening to the clans at points, something he might have picked up from Floodstar, who he seems to really like. He doesn't really seem to mind the idea that he came from outside of Roots, 
though maybe that's because his dad is so well liked among the other cats. He is curious about the other clans, though. Pool Paul is Fruit Paul's brother, one of Gizmo Cliff's kids. He likes most of the cats he's interacted with, but only the only cat he doesn't like is Little Paul, mainly because she seems really violent and is kind of mean to him. His mentor is Birchback, who's teaching him to fight really well. He's confident and quick to help, influenced a lot by his father, who also seems to like being extremely helpful. Both Pooh Paw and Fruit Paw were too young to understand the weight of losing their two other siblings, but they miss them terribly and both will still and both still care a lot for them. I'm hoping they visit in their dreams. Lemon Kid is the only kid currently in the clan, and is the daughter of Airberry and Badger Whisker. Airberry and Badger Whisker aren't mates, and Badger Whisker hasn't said that they're the parent of Lemon Kit, but they were the first cat, other than the medicine cats, to be there for Airberry and Lemon Kit. While technically medicine cats aren't supposed to have kits, Floodstar is just looking the other way on this one in order to keep the peace, especially considering Badger Whisker already doesn't like Floodstar. Lemon Kit's only four moons, though, and doesn't really understand what's going on. She's a bit of a know-it-all and loves play fighting. She doesn't even know she has a sibling, though, so... <laughs> so, starting with the Star Clan cats, if I do more videos of the clan, I'll be starting the video with any new Star Clan cats. I'm ending it with these this time because I just figured it'd be easier to refer to the other cats with them already spoken about. I won't be drawing every single Star Clan cat every time, but if they happen to come up for any reason, I might include them in another cat's illustration. But yeah, starting off Star Clan, I'm just drawing their guide, Larchgrass. Larchgrass was probably the Star Clan guide that led Floodstar to their camp as an apprentice. The story of the next three Star Clan cats is pretty sad. Moon Bella was Floodstar's first apprentice, only 19 moons old when she died. She was rebellious and a great speaker, even having her own apprentice, Hemlock Paul. On Moon 8, her apprentice's first moon of being an apprentice, she went out on patrol with Hemlock Paul, Floodstar, and Floodstar's apprentice at the time, Trout Paul. They were surprised by a group of rogues in the middle of the patrol, who were incredibly skilled. The two day one apprentices didn't stand a chance, though Moon Bellow tried desperately to save them. Floodstar fought until she realized it was too late and had to make a hard decision of running in order to keep a life. Hemlock Paw and Trout Paw were Gizmo Cliff's other kits, and the other cats were all excited when they became apprentices. Hemlock Paw was responsible and a lover of stories, showing real promise and becoming a lot like his father. Meanwhile, Trout Paw was his only daughter, who was lonesome with an active imagination. I imagine she reminded Gizmo Cliff of her mother. At least they have each other in Star Clan, and they have Moon Bella, who they love to talk to. They really want to help out, even in Star Clan, but they're not sure how to now. Thanks all for watching this video. Um, if you liked it, please let me know so I know I should make more. Um, I had a lot of fun recording this, so I will hopefully be making another uh, video. But that's it for your Warning Creek Clan. Um, see ya!